Hey folks, what's up? Back in action after our last loss. Hopefully we can beat somebody, although we got this really boring opening. Okay, uh, I usually like to go for bishop a6 stuff here. Either that or bishop... Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the bishop. I mean, the other possibility is bishop b7, try to control the... e4 square. But I'm just going to get rid of this bishop. Usually it's a strong piece in the... whatever this whole thing's called. <laughs> the stone wall. So I'm happy to trade it off if needed. Uh, the thing is, I would also like... Oh, I'm probably going to take him to d5. Oh, maybe I should have done that last move. The thing is, d5 makes a lot of sense when I don't have a bishop uh, there <laughs> blocked by the pawn. So now I kind of... I always like to go knight e4. He can take it. I'm going to assume it's okay for me. Oh, I have to watch out for knight c6. I'm just going to bring the knight back. It's pretty pathetic, but whatever. Uh, now I'm going to do this. Before he goes queen f3 and stops me. I was thinking f6. And he takes. Uh, if knight c6... Sorry, knight d7. I, I don't know. I don't mind knight c6 that much. It looks less... Because his bishop's worse than my knight. So... The downside is I might lose the e-pawn. I was probably really lazy there. But I, I I can go f5. It's not the end of the world. So like knight c6, queen e8, queen c4, f5. Uh, I'm going to take, I think, and then go... I'm going to take this. He takes with the f-pawn. I, okay, I can at least take this. The right choice. He gets the e-pawn, but... Whatever. And now, how do we play? Queen d5 looks appropriate enough. The end game's like okay enough. <laughs> okay enough. A uh, queen g4, I, I kind of like because I can't go bishop to. That was a mistake. I think because like e4 comes with tempo. I can't go bishop h6. I have to go bishop e7, but then I actually lose material. Go back. Pathetic. But whatever. Because uh, e4 was going to be annoying. I should go g6. Uh, stop all the pressure on the g line. I, I gotta get my rooks, rooks into the game at some point here. Bishop d2, take, take. Eh, I don't want to want, want to take because it fixes his pawns up, you know? This is um all this stuff. Okay. It looks solid enough for me. I'm gonna go rook d8, I guess. I, I don't really know a plan is the problem. I'm playing this move without a plan, but it seems reasonable to develop my rook. I'm gonna put it on d7, I think. Uh at some point, like seven's interesting. I'm gonna do it because I want to put my rook on d7. I want to have the rook defending the pawn somehow. Now the queen looks more active. This bishop's still not amazing. I gotta keep an eye on bishop takes e5. I think h5. I don't like him coming into my face. So now I have to look out for rook f7 tricks, but they don't seem too effective. I think this queen infiltration because if, if rook f4, queen d3. Mildly irritating. Or queen c2. I'm going to do this one. I, I can't tell which is better. Think about b5 and b4. Bishop e5 is maybe playable now. Let me think. I don't see why not. Eventually, one day it would happen. He should have went bishop c1. This is a big success for me. Uh, maybe I, no, I couldn't have taken on d4. So I am now up on pretty happy about my life. Totally random move. I just want to get my pieces a for squares. Now I have to figure out how to continue. Probably e5 next move. Like if he goes a3, e5, irritating. There we go. Getting my bishop into the action. 
think I'll take with the bishop. Queen takes is also reasonable. Uh, but I like the bishop in the middle of the board. Hard to say what's better. Wow. He can go e4, right? How's he going to get his bishop in there? Let's do it. He's going for some kind of... He wants to go e4, bishop h6, but... Somebody tell me how he's going to get his bishop in. I mean, maybe queen e6 was even more accurate. I don't know. I mean, we're going to trade queens now, because queen g4 check comes. If he goes queen g5. Lost. I'm going to win. It's not going to help him very much. F5's coming next. He's just dead. Even c4 is interesting. Well, let's bring the here. Uh, finally, his bishop's going to get into the game. But now I want my, my rook is also. Alright. I don't know what he's planning here. I'm just going to sack the rook next move. I'm up like too many pawns. Hopeless. I'm doing this because he wants to get active. I can now do it. Now he can't, he can't even go rook c2 is the point. I wanted to stop him from being able to do that. No way that pawn's gonna make a queen or anything. Uh, maybe I shouldn't allow rook g2. That was really stupid, probably. Uh, let's just push this guy. I'm playing this like an idiot, but I should be winning anyway. Uh, I have d6, like. I can go e2. I can also go rook d3. Rook d3 is probably safer. I like safety. I'm a big fan of safety. I mean, if I lose this, I mean, if I don't win this game, I should just retire. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure I'm still winning. Unless rook d4, no. I mean, my king's still defending things. Well, he has no threat, so I guess a2. No, um. Two, rook a4, I can sack. Yeah, this has got to be winning. I can sack on king d8, rook a4. Not good for now. That doesn't look good. I don't know what he was doing. I mean, my, my technique was horrible this game, but I don't win anyway. I'm going to make two queens because I'm very good at mating with two of them. One of my strengths as a player. Mating one, I think. Uh, that was amazingly bad technique by me. <laughs> Just, you know, like, I wonder, was it ever okay for him? Should it just not sack the rook? Just win either. I'm so excited to give away my material. I just want to focus on it. I just want to see if I was ever actually not winning. Like I always was, but you know, could always miss something. Okay, I was always winning, but it just looked a little scary. Um, important parts of this game were I turn off Houdini. But first, I like to get rid of this bishop because this is his good bishop, this is his bad one. The other point, there are chances to go bishop b7 and just target e4 and just put a piece there because there's no pawns defending it. But I, I went for this plan instead. So now you can go d5 because there's no bishop behind it, which I, I like. And I want to go knight e4, but knight c6 annoyed me. I probably should have done it. I could have done it anyway. 
I don't know, like, I don't want to bring the knight back, but it's okay, you know, 98 followed by f6 is also reasonable. This move, like, I do get a weak e-pawn. Like, one thing I was thinking about was if this, queen c2, a little awkward, but I can go f5, take knight takes, and you know, he always has his bishop, it's pretty crappy. Houdini thinks I'm slightly better. I was just going for knight against bishop. But I also thought bishop against bishop was fine. This was a mistake, of course. I had to go back. Because any any move like this, e4 followed by bishop h6. Queen d5 is not good. I should just go maybe g6 or something. I don't know. But now I'm just like... It still seemed okay to me. Yeah, even though I wasted two moves. I just stayed solid. Trying to like lure him into... I got my queen active, and then I just do the trick. If he goes bishop c1, I felt like it was slightly better, but yeah, Houdini agrees. Oh, he really thinks I'm better. Well, then I, okay, if he takes this way, I bishop h6. Oh, I empty queen g3. <laughs> uh, I get the open file now, like rook c7. Or, or rook c8, whatever. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.